Okay, so I've been playing Tower Defense since day one. Most think like you have to be like a whale to have high CS. Now, I'm not saying being a whale wouldn't give you that, but I'm not a whale. Uh, I'm probably like low spender at best. I rate it by the passes. Now, with me just buying the passes, my CS is 173K. You look at my weapon and say, hey, you got A6s, you spend a lot of money. Uh, just want to put out there. I have a lot of weapons. Yeah, you probably have more weapons than I do. So now we know for a fact, like, I'm not wailing, you know? So maybe you'll take my words a little more serious now, right? Now, you can try to get weapons to A6 and wait a long time. That's what I did. Let's say you don't want to do that, right? Um, and you don't want to do that for matrices either. There's buffs that you can buy. Within the game, within the game, it's in-game currency. Wait, what was that? Oh, I got a movement core, okay. Right, there's in-game currency right here that you can use, if I can find it. And within this, you have temporary bonuses. Like right here, increase attack by 3.5 for seven days, right? Increase shatter by 15%, aggro by 25% for seven days. Increase the base stats of the equipped weapons and matrices to as their match for seven days. Okay. So you see, you still made 173K. What would the number be when I use them? I don't know. We're going to find out right now. Right? I just, used, I just used it. And I just jumped into 182K CS. Before I was at 180. So we know these work. Right? I, I'm going to use another, another buff. Did that, did that jump me at all? No, it did not. Okay, increase attack. Okay. Does, does that boost me at all? I don't know if it does. Right? But now you see my CS is 182K. Right? So now it's like, okay, that helps. That gets a percentage. What else can we do, right? So I'm going to show this from a 42 standpoint. You can try to copy and paste as well if you want me to make like one for like benediction or attack. Honestly, if you ask me for balance, I really don't know. I can make a, a guesstimation, but I, it really is up to you when it's all said and done. So within these pieces of gear, like, you know, the um anything that was before percentage that had like flat numbers, you want to roll as much as you can in the one stat. If you get one roll into every stat, it's not going to be a good piece of gear. No matter how high it rolled, it's going to be great, you know, before you start augmenting. Once you augment, it takes your highest um, roll, like your highest number, and it's going to give you augmented stats out of it. Now, you see here, I have skill boost three, you know, well, skill damage boost um, plus three. You also see I have flame resistance, you know. Why do I have flame resistance? Because I, I went with crit. If you go with um, an elemental attack, you'll get other elemental attacks. But if you go with crit, HP, or resistances, more than likely you're getting defensive buffs down here. Honestly, I think it's better to have augmentation stats that are more protective than trying to go even, well, how do I say, split offense? Unless you want to play a rainbow. But again, you make yourself squishier. Um, you can still have damage and then have the resistances. But that's one, right? Um, here, this is where I try to uh, elaborate on what I'm doing, right? So this piece of gear, you probably wonder how did it roll. It rolled um, four times into attack. I believe it rolled once into HP. But I do know for a fact it rolled four times into HP. I mean into attack. So because it rolled four times into attack... I got a lot of augmentation stats out of it because of, you know, the four rolls into attack. Now, um, could I have done resistance? Yeah, sure. I prefer attack and I'm trying to get, I'm trying to squeeze some more damage out um, because I'm still getting like um, augment stats for resistance. Now the thought is, why didn't you just get um, resistance if you're, if you're a tank? And I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'll probably get like more... I probably get higher CS, but I still want to feel as if I can do damage to whole aggro, right? 
So for these pieces, I'm going for attack. Now, all of them won't have attack on it as um, high roll. But you see here, I rolled four times into attack. I know I rolled once into resistance for physical. Well, physical resistance, sorry. So now I know here I rolled once into attack. Okay. These Spalders. I rolled um, three times into attack and two times into HP. I want to get some Spalders that have four rolls into attack. I do have some Spalders that have four rolls into um, my stat, but I really want to attack. Um, but yeah, my helmet... It doesn't, you can't see it as much there, but I rolled, you know, four times in the resistance, once in HP. The, the belt, four times into resistance, once in HP. So I still have some defensive, you know, stats, but I still, I still wanted the attack, you know, get some more damage. But here, again, I rolled four times in the resistance. Um, I think I rolled once into attack, and it's how it looks. And because of how it did not have HP here, comes with the augment stat. And I think uh, um, having HP is generally just good. And then last but not least, I rolled into resist, um, into crit again. Um, four times in the resist, once into, um, oh, four times in the crit, one time in the resist. And I got four rolls, I mean, I got the rolls into physical and frost resist, 4K resistances. So, I'm rolling into these like these gears you get from JO and I want to get four rolls, five rolls. So the higher rolls you can get into one stat, and then you augment it, the higher your um your augment numbers are gonna be, which boosts your CS. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky, but not tricky. Like with 42, it wasn't tricky for me at all. Um I don't have an elemental damage. Not really. Like, I don't have an element I'm going to focus into, right? So now we're going to be looking at, like, you know, um, the eyepiece and stuff like that. So I do want a piece. I mean, this actually is good. I know most say crit rate isn't good. I'll tell you now, having 70% crit, almost, almost like every time I do, like, three attacks, I see a crit in it. So I love it. It's really consistent crit for me. Um... Percentages will give you more CS than flat numbers. So let's say if you was an attack, you wanted to uh, get a bunch of damage, but still have high CS. You want to roll like your elemental damage. You'd want to have elemental attack, um, HP percent. If you can have crit rate there, that'd be great too for percent. But it's percentages. Um, a flat number isn't bad. It just isn't good. It's not good. It doesn't really add into anything. So this is like adding like at least like um, 6,000. Like this is it right here, right? Oh, that was about 10,000. Just having percentages. Um, We got the Titan Micro Reactor. I got the, I got the, uh, the Titan it. And I got four rows in the resistance. And I got one, I got one row into resist. Now, I'd rather have rolled into HP. I wasn't lucky. At least I don't think I was. Let's um, check to make sure. It doesn't really matter what the last stat was because it's mainly going off the uh, the resist, the um, the vote resist. Okay, so yes, it rolled once to resistance. But like you see right here, this rolled. Um, Three times in the HP, once in the flame resist percent, and then one in the flat on um, physical resist. So the flame resist at most here, well, the resistance is, I should say, the most it can be is 35,000. Well, I'll round it up to 36,000. This has 4K. So the more erosion into a stat, the, the better it is. You know, bigger number, better person. So that's how I'm getting um these high CS numbers. Like with the Fortress Esso Skeleton, uh, percentages. Uh, I don't use physical attack, but again, it's a percent. So it's adding a lot of numbers, even though that's a uh, physical is a fake number. But the flame resist, the frost resist, that's what's really getting um heavy into my CS. So again, if you're wondering how to get more CS, 
percentages. Again, if you're attack, even if you get a flat number, if you can get one that has no flat numbers and has like your elemental damage, your elemental um attack, HP percent, and then like an elemental resist. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's better out to, to try to not have the resist to have a flat attack number. What? 69 is better than 7%? I just don't believe it. Because some people don't even have, you know, much resistance anyway. I'm not saying to invest in resistance, but it'll, it'll protect you instead of you getting like, maybe you can survive like another one or two shots. That's huge. Do not sacrifice your, your percent defense for a flat offense, especially you're not playing the role into it. But yeah, same here. The Fortress Combat Engine. Um, physical resist percent. Physical attack. That, that's where it's coming from. And it rolled mainly into my physical resist. Yeah, it rolled once into physical attack and once into physical attack percent. Do I really want it to roll in those? No. But if I want to augment this, is this a good piece to augment? Yes, it's good enough. If it's um, if you rolled one into everything, it's not worth it. If you rolled um two rolls into two different elements, and then, I mean, two rolls into two different stats, and like one into a different stat, it's not worth it. If your max number is a two, it's not worth it. Go for your threes and ups. And, Cause then you're, you know what your stat gonna be all the time. But this is where my stats are coming from. So if we look right now, again, I am in an area that's, that's given like boosted stats. But look at that physical resist, 40K fizz resist, 30k flame, 33k um frost, 38k um vault. That is huge. 38k vault. In fact, let's go to another area. Cause I do know some will go like, oh no, you still have to well. And I'm just saying, you don't have to well. But like I always told people, you do not have to well. You may say, oh, but you spent money on the game. Yeah, I bought the battle passes, and four months into the game. I didn't have a limited weapon. I, I, my first limited summon was Saki. My second one was Long, and my third one was Wong. Those are in a sp spread around six months. Every six months, I'm summoning the character. You don't have to wait if you're wailing. You just get the characters, right? The matrices, the matrices are great. Don't get don't get me wrong, but your gear is so important. Like, if you can get percentages the way you want them, perfect. Again, if you're attack, I would say, look mostly, like, your most important percent would be, like, your elemental damage. But, I mean, if you get, like, five rolls into, you know, say your flame, you get five rolls into flame attack, and then you have another one that's, like, two rolls into, I don't know, um, flame damage, I'd probably get the flame attack. Granted, the, the disbenefit is you're going to get rolls into, um, have some other elements but the question would be do you want to have the higher attack and do you have sometimes useless useless augments that you're not going to use or maybe you'll roll like two times in the flame defense and then like i mean two times in like flame damage and then like three times into an elemental resist and then you'll get resistances i don't know what you'd rather have I would say go for the flame diamond as much as you can, but that's my opinion. But yeah, here we are. My stats are being boosted. I still have 41k physical resist, a 38k volt resist. You know, my resistances still look the same. I just lost um the volt attack. It's at 27k, almost 28k. I want to put out there, I yeah, I play stats into attack, but I'm not really looking for damage. All my damage numbers come from, you know, the crit here. Oh, no. Um, nope. Um, the attack stat here is a thousand. Yes, that's true. The attack here. Um, my crit number. You know, we got attack here. There's nothing there. And then this crit percent. Other than that, it's really coming from matrices. Matrices are huge. Like, you can't see it here, but these are A3s right now. So it's giving me more attack, crit, um, resistance, HP. But this is one thing that most people won't talk about. When you're upgrading gear. Now, you see how, like, I have most of mine to, like, 50? 
I just gotta upgrade this headpiece. And then I have everything at 50. And you get a you get a um you get a bonus. Let me actually. Right? Like most people go like, oh, I don't need that. I'll just go like 50 and all my attack stats and the resistance stuff I don't I ignore. Which I'm not saying to do it or not to do it. What I'm stating is though, when you look at your gear, when you get some some pieces like 50 and you see something at 35, this this like try to do some math if you want to. Could I drop down to 45 and have like, you know, the plus nine? Because it might be it, that might be a plus, you know, a plus eight right here that can give you the stats you was looking for for damage. Maybe not as high, maybe like it's a tad bit lower, but then like you get like more crit, more resist, more HP. So it boosts you. Look, if I can get this headpiece to 50, I'll have an extra 140 attack, right? That's cool. I got an extra 70 resistance. I get over 10,000 HP and 70 crit. Now, with that being said, I also am gonna be having percentages on health, resistance, attack. So like, even though that's the flat number, all my gears do have, look, there's an HP, re a HP percent and a vote um, resist percent. So I'm gonna get more than just those flat numbers. It's gonna be a multiplier. It's gonna be multiplied to a bigger number. Do I know the bigger number right now? No, I'm not doing the math. Like the, um, the resistances that I had before. Those getting multiplied. The physical attack gonna get multiplied. Um, here, physical attack gonna get multiplied again. The physical resist gonna get multiplied. Um, what else? Here, I mean the crit rate kind of doesn't really go into that same uh percentage. Really, it's kind of his own stat. But yeah, the vote attack gonna get multiplied. The HP gonna get multiplied. So let's look at the crit real fast, right? So you can look at this. I have 68%, you know, crit. When attacking the um, enemy at the same level, right? Now, is this, is that making a difference? Let's, um, let's switch this real fast to see if it makes a difference. So we swapped that off. We're gonna go look back here. I have zero percent crit rate, still sixty-eight percent. Okay, so that's sixty-eight percent, and then you're gonna add the other crit. So it's gonna be sixty-eight percent, and then you you add the the five point eight percent. So I got over seventy percent crit rate. I mean, why not? It's, it's, it's around seventy-three. It's around 73 crit um percent rate. Well, 73% crit. And then it has the crit damage. Now, if I had um uh two piece Fenrir, man, that'd be crazy. But I do want to put out there like there's gonna be sometimes the CS doesn't um take certain things into consideration. I don't want to get too far off topic. But right here, like I have a, a piece that's gonna add final damage. That's not gonna be looked at into uh yeah, your final damage is not get looked into your, your CS. I just wanna put that out there. So if you're really looking for CS and you was getting like flame damage, don't get flame damage, get flame attack, get higher CS. But the flame damage will give you, you know, better damage numbers. So Right here, you're gonna see, you know, I get more ele elemental damage. So as I'm fighting, my CS can jump. Uh, increase crit um, damage by 6% so that I get 56% crit damage right there. That's great. A lot of damage we added in. Um, But that's why my attack, uh, my CS is so high. And the, the reason why the vote attack is higher than expected um, is because I have two vote weapons. Now I can switch this to another weapon. I don't think it really makes a huge difference, but we can look to make sure. Okay, yeah, that actually brings my CS. I guess that has more CS than that weapon. So yeah, I'm almost at 185K CS right now. From using those buffs that you can get weekly, um, 
Where is it? So I'm not lying to you. I don't wanna I don't wanna lie to y'all. Once I actually Okay, the Azura statue. Teleport there, you can buy buffs over there. Um there's that. How else did we get it? Just to make sure we're going over things. We have okay, we use the buffs. Now the newer the weapon, the more potential CS I think it does give you for additive damage. Um, your weapons do have like you know flat numbers. For example, increase the current weapon base attack by 16%. Most say, oh, you only need A1 or you only need this. But I just want to put out there A2s and A4s do add into your CS. Right? This is 32% attack. This is 16% attack. It adds in. It's adding into your 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 number right here. It's adding into all these numbers here. Um, what else? The 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 gear, getting higher rolls. Um, I believe the attack, the flat attack, can give more CS than the um the elemental attack. But the elemental attack will give you more damage. But again, the flat attack and the flat resist will give more CS because it's adding into more stats. Just like if you can get resistance, it goes into all five of these resistance stats. When you get the, the, the attack stat, it goes into four, not five, but four. And then the altered one just goes to your highest attack number. Like my highest attack right now is physical attack. I'm not even trying to go into physical attack. So right now, if I want to have three different elements, I have to be using Shiro because I got eyes for physical attack. Well, I shouldn't because I'm still going to get more out of Wong, but... You know, power creep. We got higher rolls into a stat. Um, crit, attack, resistance. That's gonna give you um more CS. And then when it comes here, again, you, you go flame damage, you want more damage, but if you're looking for like, you know, more CS, elemental resistances to roll into HP percent. I think HP percent would be the best one if you're looking for CS. And you got your elemental attack. Because it's just about every gear gives um, HP percent. Um, it's your benediction. Honestly, I would say that's your number one you should go into. 42, I say um, your elemental resistances and then your attack, you know. I'm, I'm still going to say damage. Like your, your damage percent for damage. But you want more of the numbers. Get your, um, your elemental... Your elemental percent damage. I mean, elemental percent attack. Um, yeah. But y'all have any questions? You want me to get into more details? Hey, shoot me a comment in the comment section. Um, if you want a specified video for like potentially what you could be doing, yeah, give me that information in the comment section so I know that I need to make that information. Until then, happy gaming, happy CS grinding. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribing. Because you can put that subscribe button is right over here. And don't forget, you can watch the videos over here. I want to see you in there too, all right? You enjoy yourself.